Ito po ba sa dinami-dami na nang naririnig natin, no? tama po ba sabihin na ang stem cell therapy is the eighth wonder of the world at the moment? Well, it has been the wonder ever since. Eh. You are living now because of stem cell. Without stem cell, you're all dead. You're all dead. Bakit kami lang? We are all dead. We are all dead. Baka sasabihin mo sperm cell. Ha? Hindi, sabi ko stem cell. Okay. okay. Oh. So, uh, sana maintindihan niyo what stem cell therapy is all about. Stem cell, ang trabaho ng stem cell sa katawan ay siya yung repair and maintenance ng katawan natin. Katulad ng kotse, kailangan i-repair at i-maintain. Now, kapag walang nag-repair at may maintain, ano mangyari sa atin? Wala, madali lang tayong... Siguro yung chapter natin dito will just be a few years. Uh, wala na tayo. Because even your immune system, yung infection, uh, even the function of all of your organs are dependent on stem cell. So, gaano, gaano ka important ang stem cell? Actually, you are a walking stem cell. Ang problema lang sa stem cell, kapag medyo tumatanda na tayo at 40 years old, natutulog na lahat ang stem cell. Instead of more than 80 million active stem cells na nagme-maintain sa katawan when you were 10 years old. At 40, it's only less than 20 million active stem cells. So that is why mapapunan nyo na nagiging puti na yung buhok natin, yung may arthritis na tayo, kulubot na yung skin. Uh, we have all the degenerative uh, effects because of the stem cell not working properly. They're going to sleep mode. Ang trabaho namin is just to wake up the stem cells kasi andyan pa sila lahat eh. Natutulog lang. Gisingin mo lang sila, put them in specific areas na gusto nyo kayo skin, katulad ng one hood nyo or two hood ninyo, kung saan yung complaint. And uh, you see a very nice phenomenon of natural healing. Yung po bang uh, mga police na nasusugatan sa labanan at applicable po ba yung stem cell therapy uh, it is routine sa lahat ng American forces when they go to uh, conflict areas, naka-stem cell banking na sila. Lahat sila naka-stem cell bank yun before they go out. Individually, galing sa kanila mismo yung yeah. stem cell yun. Naka-stem cell bank sila. So if they're injured like in Afghanistan, by the time they come back, they, they will culture the uh, cells so that they can be used to repair. Especially mga burns, especially yung mga soft tissue trauma, or even nerves. Kasi you can grow nerves, you can grow heart, you can grow kidneys from stem cell. Parang gusto ko sana itanong kay Kernel eh, pero alam ko wala tayo dyan eh. So, meron po yung naglalabasan ngayon, kapsula, meron pa pampahit, at kung ano-ano pa ng mga stem cells daw. Hindi stem cell yun. Kapag stem cell, buhay yun, cell, di ba? Uh, so, it has to come from a living body. Hindi pwedeng lagay sa ampule, mamamatay yun. Lagay mo sa, what they call this, sa bone or sa lotion, it cannot be. It has to, uh, sana, there should be, ano ba yung truth in advertising? Meron naman talaga eh. Oo. When you say stem cell, buhay yun. Saan yung buhay na stem cell doon? Di mali na yun. Uhuliin sana sila lahat. Because what they're using perhaps is stem cell products mga growth factors, chemokines, cytokines from stem cell, but not stem cell itself. Because it's wrong to say itong sabon ito, stem cell sabon, wala namang cell doon. So, uh, you watch out with what you're using. A lot of products, especially from uh, China, are embryonic. Galing sa embryo. Alam naman natin na the Philippines is a Catholic country, mainly a Catholic country. And uh, it is morally, uh, ethically, religiously very wrong to use embryonic products because you're killing human life. Alright. <clears throat> Baka, para lang huwag kong makalimutan ito kasi kanina umaga may kausap ako kay Bigan. Mag-asawa sila, doktora yung yung babae, abogado yung lalaki. Eh, uh, dapat pagpunta sila rito pero muli muna sila ng uh, kapis eh. Ano muna, baka may convention ng mga aswang ko. <laughs> <laughs> Ang at tanong, para sila diabetic, nag-i-insulin uh, na. O pwede pa daw ba silang uh, mag-stem cell therapy? Well, uh, siguro, if you base on adipose stem cell dito sa Pilipinas, I am one of the two na pinakamaraming stem cell na nagawa. Kasi I'm the trainer of doctors. Eh. Ako nagtitrain ng mga doctors to do stem cells. Ang dami ng doktor na train ko. 
every doctor will do five cases at least. Bago, because I'm the chair for the uh, accreditation and competency of the uh, Philippine Society for Stem Cell Medicine. So, dadaan talaga sila lahat sa akin. Stem cell medicine is something nice. I hope you remember that when you are stem cell, you become 5 to 10 years younger. Now, in diabetes, lahat ng mga diabetic ginawa namin, except one, except one na nag-i-insulin, wala nang gamot na tinitake. Ang problema niyan is, of course, the pharmaceutical industry will be affected by stem cell kasi wala ka nang gamot ititake. Mga diabetics, ang dami-dami kayang gamot tinitake, sometimes 10, 14 medicines. We have only one diabetic who's normal, lahat ng parameters, but the, the doctor doesn't want to stop the medicine. Normal na lahat. It's the doctor who doesn't want to stop the medicine. Medicine niya for diabetic. Yeah, for diabetes. For diabetes. Insulin yan eh. yeah. But normal na lahat. Even hemoglobin H1C that uh, monitors three months ago control, they're all normal now. Anyway, ganito ang kwento ko. Especially sa mga diabetics, kasi maraming diabetic dito at aging, yung circulation natin, yung mga blood vessel, mga ugat natin, doon sa pangatlo nating paa, ay humihina, nagbabara-bara na, especially sa diabetics, especially with diabetic neuropathy. Okay? Ang na-notice namin is every time we do, tumataas yung libido, yung urge. That's why, ang sinasabi ng ibang pasyente, may isa kami yung pasyente na doktor, Sabi, Chris, ano bang nangyari dito? Maski yung babaeng hindi attractive, pagdaan sa harap ko, tinitingnan ko na, noon hindi ako tumitingin. Kasi wala na nga, kasi he has erectile dysfunction, and he cannot even see his third leg sa sobrang laki ng tiyan niya. Ngayon, he is very active. So, those who have uh, erectile dysfunction, one of the best methods for improving your function is stem cell surgery or stem cell therapy. Uh, napabalit, napabalita na naglabas na kasi ng uh, guidelines ang DOH. Ano po ba ang mga highlights ng guidelines na ito? Patungkol sa stem cell. Okay. Number one, kasama kami paggawa ng mga guidelines. So, maintindihan niyo ho na lahat ng mga senogenic, yung galing sa tupa na itim, yung uh, black spotted sheep sa Switzerland, Germany, na, na, na dinignan niyo palagi, uh, yung mga apple stem cell, plant stem cell, um, that is going to be highly regulated ng FDA. Kailangan dadaan ng FDA natin. But lahat ng embryonic, bawal. Ang pwede lang ho ay autologous, yung galing sa katawan natin. Whether it's bone marrow, fat, uh, cord blood, placenta, whatever. Basta galing sa katawan natin. Yun ang pwede ho. The others, they will have to pass through BFAD. Especially yung sinasabi mong mga sapon, mga ampion, mga ano pa dyan. FDA yon, Very, very strict ang FDA for that. Especially kung embryonic ang source. Kasi marami tayong, di ba narinig mo yung soup number 7, ganun, maraming products with, uh, that might contain embryonic substances. Narinig ko yung soup number, uh, soap number 7, dok, pero hindi ko pa natitikmat yun. Di ba kaya nga eh? Ang problema ko eh kung paano. <laughs> <laughs>